Hi folks, um, no Stuart today, Mr Lockhead had a fall and has cracked his ribs and is in too much pain to participate. We obviously wish him the best. Well, what did you think, no Alex today? No, no Alex actually, I must admit I preferred uh, Nicola, I thought she was absolutely brilliant standing there in a red jacket looking every inch. Uh, from a Labour Party perspective, as uh, that left wing, or sounding like that left wing Labour Party leader, we're never ever going to get. Um, you know, we're dealing with the things on um, why they are on the war, uh, illegal wars, illegal, illegal weapons of mass what? destruction. What was Joanna Lambert playing at today? Um, it was kind of, um, well, it, it, it's actually like a lot of this unionist thing, it's inept comedy, they try to laugh, joke, work on the principle that if you get everybody to laugh at them. But the whole point is the crap of telling jokes. Absolutely appalling. Oh, and me. listening to the lot at the back, like a bunch of baying second and third year kids at secondary it was, school. It, it was, I mean, it's, um, is, is, is that really? Um, very childish. Is there, is there some sort Scottish of... Scottish Parliament? Have, have you got to be able to bray like a donkey to get into Westminster or something? Yeah, and it's it, it's... Just a whole lot of the stuff, you know. I mean, whatever she keeps re okay. repeating, here's, repeating. Here's repeating. the challenge. What was her question? She didn't ask a question anyway. She was just making the next statements all the it's, time, and it actually her to the, head glued to the table to keep repeating things that she keeps saying every week. Um, well, it's getting to be the Joanne Lamont statement time, as opposed to First Minister's questions. As far as I'm concerned, it was diabolical. Very strange. Um, she she reminded me, you know, these dogs you used to get in the back of the cars yeah. with their heads nodding. <laughs> That's all I could think of while I was watching her and reading off notes and littering everything she said with sound bites. Yeah, but there must have been half a dozen in there. Yeah, but it's sort of sound bites. It, it was. I mean, yeah, a sound bite actually, I think, gives it too much credit. I mean, they were like real badly presented. Sar sarcasms is more was and it was to the sarcasm is the lowest form of wit um but it can be entertaining if you do it properly but she can't even do the lowest form of wit well, properly the, the willie wallace thing you know oh william wallace in his speech to the troops joanne it's okay lads we'll keep the king we'll keep the bank of england i actually think uh nicholas sturgeon missed a trick there yeah but because I it was a scottish king that went down to the english yeah. throne the bank of england was founded by a Scotsman, etc., etc. She could have really got into her about that, but she didn't. Yeah, it's, it, it, exactly. And it's that that whole thing. I thought she, um, Nicola, did um, yeah, extremely well. Cool, calm, and collected. She didn't have to do the the jokey. She, not, none of that jokey bit you get from Alec, where he smirks and stuff. But where he gets a smart Alec, I thought she was absolutely excellent. Um, and it's that it comes across really as people that from from all the other benches uh, particularly the Tory and the Labour and that whole bit about preferring Tories to her own people to, <laughs> I mean it really hits home um, s simply because they sound like well why don't they call themselves the Vidkun movement I mean you know Mr Quislin's first name I mean, it's exactly what they sound like what Joanne did manage to do today was get Rupert Murdoch in the Bank of England in yeah. uh, what else William Wallace. Yeah. And here's what I was talking about and the she, other week. She was all over the place. Yeah. Just no direction, so no real thrust to her questions. But uh, isn't that really Labour as a whole? Um, no direction. Where are we going? Um, what is their policy? We're just against everything the SNP say. I mean, they are starting their better together um, pretty soon. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss really what, what they want. Points out of ten for Joanne. Joanne. Um, well, she did, she didn't ask a question for a start. She didn't go anywhere. Sorry, I'll drop her down to below five again. I'll give her a, a four. I'll give her four for turning up. No, uh, it's kind of where I am. About a four, just because she's wearing bright clothes now. <laughs> um, I didn't think the presiding officer did a particularly good job on her. No. Actually, I did think she needed slapped down and asked to state her question. Yeah, yes, yeah, she was just rambling. I mean, pointless reiteration of pointless 
statements she'd made in the past. And scoring no points. No. But then again, it seems to work as far as the media is concerned because they pick up on it and they basically run with whatever she says. It's negative. Media love negative. They don't like positive. Ruth uh, Davidson today? Um, well, to be crude, she was just talking pure pesh. Uh, um, well, that whole bit about that, you know, it's 68,000 uh, a year. Which of course, the it's a very pay 50,000. I thought the doctor's pension was self The doctor's pension is, is well, even before it's, it's buoyant. I mean, it's not in deficit or anything else. There's also, as well, uh, early as I was listening to a program, um, and th they, they were talking about if you get um, a civil servant on around the same wages as, as a doctor, on, on the same pension as a doctor, they pay in half the amount of money over their working times that a right. doctor does. This is a, a tax grab. I mean, it's right across. It's the same. Oh, you know, this whole idea, you're having to pay an extra 3%. Well, They're not. Te it's, you're teachers. giving 3% tax on your pension. It's a tax grab. Well, Scottish teachers that are pension funds in surplus and they're taking 3% yeah. off them. I mean, it is very obvious when you do it. It's a demonisation it. of the public sector. And well, what else would you expect from a Tory anyway? Um, sorry, I won't even, uh, I mean, she didn't make a point about anything. She just reiterated pure Tory lies. She, um, was, she was looking to get Nicola Sturgeon to basically support the strike. And that was never going to happen. I mean, Nicola had a thousand ways to get out of it. And answered very well because she had figures. I mean, they'll be estimates. They won't really know what, what the truth of it is for a week, I wouldn't think. But she had it all at her fingertips. Very professional in answering. Yeah. Um, she actually made them look worse than Salmon did um, because she doesn't have to do the jokey happy bit that Salmon does have a habit of doing. She did She um, did look very statesman-like. Yep, she looked absolutely like, excellent. Yeah. Statesperson-like. Yep. I don't know what the correct And I'll give Ruth zero because she had nothing to say except lies. I come back to the point I make every week. It's very difficult for Ruth Davidson because there's a Tory government in Westminster and you can lay most of the problems at their door if you have to. Well, look for Scottish votes then. <laughs> lay, lay some of the blame at the Westminster Parliament. Actually get a bit of bowl. Yeah. Get a bit of culture. Yeah. Yeah. Sh show that you are actually the leader of a Scottish Conservative Party, not a kind of quizless party that just agrees with everything but that the bosses say down there. But they're not. That decision's made, isn't it? They're oh, of course. Yeah, she wouldn't have got the state. job otherwise. Interesting. Willie Rennie... Um's question on the Dalai Lama was actually preceded by a question from Je Jenny Mara. Yeah. Um, this is a strange one for me. I, although it's a pastoral visit, there is a definite political slant to it. So there has been a decision made not to put their head above the parapet as far as Chinese human rights are concerned. Now, what's China doing for Scotland? Is there something we're expecting to get from them? No, I, I don't think it's that. This, this, uh, I, I think Rennie, Mara, the whole lot, they're just using something for an embarrassment. He is here on a pastoral visit. He's not here on a state visit. Um, and it's rank hypocrisy, by the way. When are they going on about uh, the Americans? Every time an American, something or other, turns up, Guantanamo. Um, are these people under? Have, have these people been charged? We did it for years and years in Ireland. We even killed people. In fact, we should be killing people in Iraq now that we like, like yeah. uh, Basra. We do it. Israel. Israel has tens of thousands of people. They just don't like the look of your face. Completely racist. You look like a Palestinian. We'll lock you up. England. You look like an Irishman. We'll lock you up. You look like a Muslim of the Americans. You look like it's rank hypocrisy. Um, yeah, China is uh, so does have horrible. So uh, effectively, no visits from any state politicians. <laughs> well, exactly. They're all at it. You know. I mean, but it's this. And as uh, Nicola said, um, has Cameron, um, has Danny Alexander, have they all stood up and started? Going to well, the that, press and started to make huge was, statements on again, that. He's that a Secretary was, of State for Scotland. She said, no, of course he hasn't. They're just trying to use it to try feebly to embarrass someone that's well, the point, miles ahead of them. The point that Nicola Sturgeon made, there was no UK government minister going no. to meet him either. Of course not. Um, I still find it strange because it's, it's one where there's points to be scored. 
possibly for the SNP. But again, I thought Nicola dealt with it very well. Uh, as I say, Jenny Mara got in before Willie Rennie. What did you think of Willie Rennie's performance? Weak, weak question, because it had already been well, asked. Well, he's doing the hand signals from the back. Uh, I can't be kind and give him I think he slipped back this week. Yeah, he slipped back. I can't give him the same as Joanne Ford. I mean, they had no real content. Most of the stuff that we do doing was like, his was the trying to make an inept um, attempt at embarrassing. Joanne's was non-existent verbal, and there was absolutely nothing from Ruth Davis apart from lies. I still, I, I still think Willie's delivery is better than Joanne's. I'll, I'll give oh, him yeah. a six. I'll give him a six, although content was non-existent. It's quite. It must be quite difficult because, you know, we're as a nation, we're not doing that badly. No. When you look around you, so you know, what, where are they going to go? We your, could... your point about the fifty thousand jailed in China, when there's how many billions? Well, of... they, they said half a. 500,000 that they're talking 500, about. 500,000, yeah. And they talk about, and it's terrible the way they execute people. You mean like America, where they execute children, where they execute people that have mental health problems, people that are, like, mm. certified, um, people that have been definitely fitted up, but, sorry, pal, you're black, so you're going to die anyway, um, and we'll, we'll execute you before they can get more of a campaign going to get you out, since how you've been obviously fitted up before. Um, shoot a black kid on a scheme... Oh, oh, well, he looked at me the wrong way. Oh, yeah, you can walk. Uh, you weren't white, were you? Uh, I'm sorry, the rank hypocrisy right down there. And Nicola started it from the beginning, you know, when you're talk, talking about. Um, and that's one of the visions as well. Do you want to be part of that edifice of um, this British, still have that empirical attitude that they can strut around the world, mm. flexing their muscles? You watch Jim Murphy doing it when he was doing the bit for the with the... Regiments, save our regiments, you're standing there with the hands at the front, thrust in the pelvis, you know, we're, we're Brits, we can give it to them. <coughs> I mean, no more wars, no more illegal wars, no more weapons of mass destruction, which are illegal anyway, and they're looking to... Um, renew them. Renew them, um, and that's blatantly against what? international law. What about Nicholas Sturgeon? Well, if I could give her more than ten, I'd give her ten, a straight ten. She's yep. absolutely... She did, she did do that if Scotland gets independence instead of when. One mistake, take Docker a point for that. No, no, I won't. No, 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 no. You could just call her being one of those, you could call her being honest. You're just impressed because she dressed like a Labour leader. That we're never going to get. Again this <laughs> week, which seems to be coming a bit of a theme, the uh, questions from the floor were more pertinent. Yeah. Questions about carers, questions about train times, which are things that obviously affect the general public. I don't suppose too many people will be that upset about the Dalai Lama. No, and Simpsons was... Yeah, at first I was waiting for the barb to come from Simpson, but... He, um, but he was he just really getting her to re... Lot. He yeah. gets a lot of questions, yeah. doesn't he? He was just getting her to reiterate what she'd already answered. Well, she anyway, answered that question, I think, three times. Yeah, at least. Um, but the train journeys and that were really quite... Because it's funny, well, because I came up from London at the weekend... Um, and it and it was delayed, but it still took five hours to come up from London and got into the Waverley at five o'clock, to which they were talking about arriving in Inverness at the back of nine. Yeah, it's you four know. Hours. Um, and then everybody had to get on. I mean, I was getting off anyway, but everybody had to get off the train um, and get onto another one because they'd run out of electric. Because <laughs> it was an electric train up to Edinburgh, you know. Um, that's Norris dog. He's actually a grim with this. He's just given <laughs> 10 to Nicola as well. <laughs> uh, well, that just about covers it, folks. Mm. Um, as I say, we wish Stuart well. Hope he recovers quickly. And thank you for watching. Thank you, Phil. Thank you.